Since a lot of men are visual creatures, uh, let me walk through what I just made. Why I won't sleep with a man who makes less than $200,000 a year. The average one bedroom apartment in LA, this is where I live, is $2,800 a month, although my rent is significantly more than this. That means that you have to make three times the rent in order to qualify. That's $8,400 a month before taxes and $100,000, $800,000 a year. But hold on, I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a lot of money. Just wait. Men want to do this thing where they want to take your pants off, and that's fine because I want to take my pants off too, but hold on. If we have a little baby, oops, uh, the average two bedroom in Los Angeles is $3,800. That means that you now have to make $11,400 a month, which brings you to $136,800 a year. I know what you're thinking, oh my God, that's so much money, but wait. You're not really coming home with that $136,800 because you have roughly 30% in taxes, and this is a conservative estimate, okay? Meaning that $41,040 of that is gonna be taken, so your new bring home is gonna be $95,760 a year, but hold on. If we divide that by 52 weeks, that means that you are gonna bring home $1,841.54 weekly, or $7,366 monthly. I know what you're thinking, that's amazing. However, you have benefits. Do you know how much benefits are for a family of three on a silver PPO plan? Because be so for real, I am not giving birth in a county hospital, okay? Also, um, let's just pay a higher premium now unless you wanna get a bill for $100,000 at the end of a birth, okay? So now we're back to this $7,366, oh, and uh, 16 cents a month. But let's just say, let's estimate that we are doing $700 biweekly on a family of three medical dental vision benefit plan. That would be a new $5,900 take home. But wait, we still have to pay rent. $5,900 minus $3,800 for that average two bedroom because where's our baby gonna sleep in the living room? Be for real. Um, that means that we have left over $2,100 for the month, but we still have cars, insurance, utilities, food, clothes, the dogs need to eat, veterinary expenses that we wouldn't have expected, baby things, etc. Sir, we are now in the negative. And I'm sorry, but I am not going to sleep with a man to accidentally get pregnant when we are going to be living check to check because you physically cannot afford it. And I know what you're going to say. You should get a job. You should be working. The average cost of childcare in the state of California is $16,866 per year for ages 0 to 2 or $11,999 for ages 3 to 5. I am not going to go and get yelled at by a boss and be stressed out and wake up and spend four hours a day commuting, two hours there, two hours back. This is LA. We have traffic just to go and pay that much money in childcare when I could be home with the child. And before you say, oh my God, like you just want to leech off of a man. You're a bum. Um, babe, this is me in my two story apartment here in LA that I pay for by myself. So if I could already make all of this go round alone, why would I want to complicate my life and add you to it? Mm, okay, girl math. The delusion of some of these women is crazy. She did a whole PowerPoint presentation. This is sad, ladies. Women like this say they want a high-earning man, but they don't meet their requirements to have that kind of man. The wildest thing about these stories are we never hear from them again after these plans of them never pan out. And upon further research, this lady is a stripper and does OnlyFans. No disrespect to her job whatsoever, but we can see everything about you for just $15 a month. Less than some people on Netflix, but you want a 200k earning man. <laughs> we really gotta be serious sometimes. I want you guys to tell me who in their right mind make that kind of money and will want to settle down with somebody who does OnlyFans and stripping. Other than dumb athletes and celebrities. That's like me being fat, short, living in my mom's basement and demanding a girl that's a 10 out of the 10. The math is not mathing, right? But I really don't blame her. I blame the simps and losers who keep subscribing to the OnlyFans nonsense and entertaining it. That's why they make videos like this. To all the fellas out there, this is what is left in the dating pool. It's full of piss. So get your mind right, get your money right, get your physique right, and find someone who genuinely likes you. Y'all be safe out here. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.